Hello and welcome back to the digital design lectures. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have seen how to uh, simplify the four uh, input uh, Boolean expression using four variable key map. And also we have seen uh, what are the different, uh, how to find the uh, prime implicants and uh, how to find the <coughs> important prime implicants. Uh, these all things we have seen in the using four variable K map. And also we have seen how to, uh, when there is a don't care condition is given, how to simplify the Boolean expression and how to uh, implement the don't care conditions, how to design the don't care conditions into the K map uh, to simplify that. So th these are things we have seen in the previous lecture. Now today we are going to see uh, two different implementations circuit implementation using NAND gate and NOR gate. This NAND and NOR gates are called universal gates. Now we, we are going to discuss why they are called universal gates, what is the purpose of that and then uh, there are multiple uh, circuits, any circuits can be designed using NAND and NOR gate. Uh, so we are going to see this using few examples. Let us start with the lecture. Now first let us look at NAND implementation. As I, I said earlier, NAND and NOR gates are considered as universal gates. The reason behind that is any other gate or any other circuit can solely can be designed using NAND gate or NOR gate. So first to understand this, first we need to understand how the NAND gate is used to design the basic gates. The NAND gate can work as NOT gate, the NAND gate can act as a OR gate and NAND gate can be used to design the AND gate. So let us see how these basic uh, gates uh, or the implementation of the gates can be done using the NAND gate. So the first one, let us design the NOT gate using NAND gate. So uh, before that, let me quickly revise what do you mean by NAND gate. The NAND gate is nothing but a AND followed by NOT gate. So, how does it look like? The symbol, the symbol representation of the NAND gate looks like this and followed by a small uh, circle which represents the NOT gate and the output is going to be the negation of Z is equal to X, Y, bar. So, it acts as an AND gate followed by the NOT gate. So, whatever the output we are going to get after the uh, multiplication that is ending of these two inputs it is going to uh, complement that. So now the also we can even look at the truth table z 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is just for your reference we have already I have already covered this in the previous lectures. So <coughs> this NAND gate is just opposite to the AND gate. For AND only this produces high. For NAND only this produces zero. All other values will be high. So now let us look at the different implementation. How the NOT gate is implemented using NAND gate. So <coughs> here if I use the NAND gate with only one input then that can act as the not gate. Okay. So here we have x and here we will be getting x dash. Okay. Sometimes we use the same symbolic representation as not gate whether uh, it is implemented using NAND or not, not we are going to use the same symbol. So <coughs> sometimes if we don't have the one input NAND gate then we can combine both the inputs like here also I can give x, here also I can give x then how this can be realized? It is going to be x dot x the whole complement. What do you mean by x dot x? x dot x is nothing but x. Uh, when we look at the Boolean algebraic laws, so x dot x is equals to x. So that is nothing but x dash. So if I use NAND gate with two input variable and both the inputs are shorted, then it will act as the not gate. Now let us look at the how this NAND gate can be arranged 
to work it like a AND gate. So now, what is an AND gate? AND operation followed by NOT operation. Okay. So I just have to again negate the NOT operation one more time. So it's going to be very simple. So this is an AND gate. X and Y. And the output is going to be X dot Y the whole bar. And according to the definition of <coughs> complement, inverse, okay, inversion law, according to the inversion law, x double dash is equals to x. So what we have to do, we just have to add one more not gate, okay. Again, this not gate can also be represented like this because now what, what we are talking is, we are talking the complete implementation using only NAND gate. So <coughs> here, what I am going to get x dot y double dash which is equal to x dot y. With this arrangement uh, only with the NAND gate I can implement the AND gate. Now what is the next gate we have to look into? OR gate. This is NOT, this is AND gate and this is OR gate. Now, according to the Boolean laws, yes, so we have seen x dot y dash, okay, can also be represented as x dash plus y dash, okay. So, using the similar uh, de Morgan's law, okay, I can write it this way. If I take the complements of x and y, and then connect them using NAND gate. This is X, this is Y. Here I will be getting X dash, here I will be getting Y dash, and here I will be getting X dash dot Y dash the whole dash. Yes? So now, if I simplify this, it is going to look like X double dash plus Y double dash if I use the de Morgan's law on this, it will look like this. Again, we know that according to the inverse law, x double dash is equals to x, y double dash is equals to y. So this arrangement, when I do using only NAND gate, then the entire circuit will act as the OR gate. Okay? So now if I look at this, the only using NAND gate, I can realize any given Boolean equation, I can implement any given circuit or any given circuit with a combination of AND or NOT can also be converted using the only NAND gate. Okay? So that is the reason this NAND gate is referred as universal gate. And also another reason behind calling this as the universal gate is uh, the fabrication. The fabrication is the conver converting this particular um, circuitry into ICs uh, compared to AND or NOT gate, NAND gate is much easier and cheaper. So that is the reason we are um, in most of the implementation or the most of the circuit design is done using the NAND or NOR gate. Now let us look at, uh, I, I keep on telling NAND is a universal gate and any of the circuitry can be converted to the NAND gate. Let us uh, look at few of the examples. Uh, we will see the uh, same circuitry using AND or combination and then the same how to convert using NAND combination. NAND NAND combination. We will see few examples. The symbolic representation of this NAND gate, we have two representations. One is, as I said, we have and followed by not now according to the de morgan's law we also can call this or we call this as bubbled or okay here x and here y and here i'm going to get x dash plus y dash which is nothing but x y the whole dash 
according to the De Morgan's law. And this is, if you observe, the output is x, y dash and here also x, y the whole dash. The inputs are x, y, the inputs are x, y. These are the equivalent circuits and this is called the NAND gate. This is another representation of the NAND gate. We can also call it as bubbled OR gate. Bubbled OR gate. Here the inversion is after ANDing it. Here the inversion is before ORing the inputs. So we are going to replace whatever the OR gate or NAND AND gate in our circuitry is. We are going to replace either with this or with this. Both means it is NAND gate only. So now let us look at an example, for example, f equal to a, b plus c, d. If I have to design this using and and or a combination, I need two and gate, two and a and b, I need one and gate, and a and c, I need another and gate. The output of these two and gate must be given to or gate as input and then the output of the OR gate will be the final output. So let us design this. We have one AND gate whose inputs are A and B. And we have another AND gate whose inputs are C and D. Now these two terms are ready. A, B and C, D. Now these two terms must be OR. So I need one OR gate. So this is going to be F equal to AB plus CD. This is the regular design using basic gates. Now uh, our task is to convert this basic gates design using NAND implementation. So what we have to do is we are going to use these two uh, <coughs> equivalent circuits of NAND gate. Now, see, if I invert it here, okay, if I replace this NAND gate, what will be the output? AB dash. Okay. So, when I am coming it here, now it will become AB dash. Right? But I don't want, the output has to be AB plus CD only. So what I have to do, before I pass it to the OR gate, I have to invert it once again by using bubbled OR gate. The same thing if I do it here. And again, that is compensated using another bubble, using uh, this bubbled OR gate. Okay. So now if you look at this, I have an AND gate here, I have an AND gate here, I have bubbled OR, which is again equivalent to the NAND gate. So my circuit is ready with three NAND gates. Okay. So I had a two level uh, basic circuitry using AND and OR gate. Now it is converted to two, uh, the NAND NAND circuit. Okay. But now you might be thinking that how the output is same. Let us now simplify this. Okay. So what do we have here? AB dash CD dash. Right. So now what are we all in here? Yes, is equals to input is again uh, inverse of input I need to take. So it is going to be AB dash of dash plus CD dash of dash. So again we know that double inverse is nothing but AB. Again this double inverse also get cancelled by itself. Then we get AB plus CD. That is what is uh, desired output. So this is the way whenever we have, uh, we, we want to design or we want to convert an already available circuitry with AND or uh, design. To convert that, what we have to do, we have to use this, these two different, <coughs> different representation of the same NAND gate. And I need to make sure along one line, okay, these two bubbles cancel each other. I need to make sure whenever there, there are there is one line, if I add one bubble, I need to make sure there is another bubble. If that another bubble, it is not possible here, then I have to add one not gate. Okay. So maybe in the next example, you will understand this better. Now, the same thing, uh, 
this is also an AND gate, so I can just replace the symbol with the NAND gate itself. Okay. In this case, what happens? If I replace this NAND gate, it doesn't look like this. It would look like AB dash dot CD dash the whole dash. Yes? So again, if I simplify this, it will become AB double dash plus CD uh, double dash so which is again nothing but AB plus CD. Okay. Either I use this or this, both are giving the same result. But initially you need to understand how we are going to cancel these bubbles. What is uh, One is added after the uh, ending and one is added before the oring. So to show that we are going to use these two interchangeably. I hope this is clear to you guys. When, uh, when any sur given circuit with AND or NOT gate can easily be converted to the NAND gate. Now let us quickly look at another example. How? Let this be. Now we have f of x, y, z equal to Summation of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Now this is represented in the canonical form. The first thing what I need to do is I need to construct a K map, simplify it, and whatever the simplified we are getting, we have to construct using and or then convert it to NAND NAND. So now quickly do it. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because it is only a 3 variable k map, we need x dash, y da, uh, x dash, x, y dash, z dash, y dash, z, y, z, y, z dash. Now, mark all those ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Now, we have become expert in solving the K-map. Yes? Now, how we, we are going to get the quad if I join these four ones? And then, is there any anything uh, quad possible with this? With this? No. So, maximum we can do is a pair. A pair with this. Now, let us quickly write the equation for this. Uh, that is... <coughs> Let me write it here. F equal to for this. X is cancelled and Y is cancelled. The value is Z. Okay. And for this pair, X, X dash is there. Z, da, Z is cancelled. Y. So it is going to be X dash Y. And for this, okay, we have X and Y dash is constant. Z is cancelled. Then we have X, Y dash. So finally, the simplified equation would look like this. And the uh, <coughs> circuitry for this simplified equation is I need one AND gate, another AND gate, and then one OR gate with three input. So let us do this. So for this, we have X dash Y, and for this, we are going to give X y dash. We are just assuming if, if y dash is already available as an input, y dash, x dash, z dash, all these x, x dash, all, all of these are six pair of inputs. Uh, the, its form, its normal form and its complement form are already available. We are assuming that that is why I am directly writing here x dash. Or else if you are writing here x then you, 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 could, you have to uh, write one inverter here. Okay? So we are just assuming that all of these uh, uh, forms of all these variables are already available as input. Now, we have all these, uh, I added these two terms. Now I need an OR gate. To this OR gate, output of this is one uh, input and this is another input. And another input is just one single input 
that is the set. So this is going to be the circuitry using AND or logic or AND or gate for this given function. Now the next task is to convert this using NAND NAND circuit. Okay. Again see here <coughs> if I add bubble here this has to be changed. If I add bubble here this has to be changed. If I am using bubbled OR gate all these three input will be inversed. So let me write this. And here also, if I add bubbles here, so this and this are got can, are getting cancelled. This and this are getting cancelled. Now what happens to this? There is one bubble I have added, but there is no another bubble to cancel it, to complement it. So what we have to do is, either we have to pass here Z dash. Okay? So that is another thing we need to remember when we are having, when we are converting from NAND, NAND NAND circuitry, other circuitry to NAND NAND circuitry. When the <coughs> inputs are given to the AND gate, okay, will remain same. Because AND and bubbled R, okay, the bubble of the bubbled R are getting cancelled by each other. But when a single input is passed, okay, that we have to change its form. If it is complement form, it will become uncomplement form. If it is uncomplement form, then we have to change it to complement form. Okay? So that is the reason. This is how we are going to convert from given and, um, and or uh, two level circuitry to NAND NAND circuitry. Okay? So I hope this is clear to you. And again, if, if you want to see everything as a NAND gate, then just replace this bubbled OR with NAND gate. And you will get NAND NAND circuitry. I hope this is clear to you. And then, <clears throat> now we have seen an example when something is uh, expressed in terms of canonical form. How to do that? First we need to simplify using a K-map and then we have to come up with a expression. Uh, we have to come up with a circuitry using NAND uh, and OR gate. And then the same thing can be converted very easily using these rules. So now onwards, you, even we need not even draw this and or circuitry. Directly, if you observe this, uh, this example and the previous example, uh, we can easily tell that all the <coughs> and gates are replaced by nand gates. And all the or gates are replaced by uh, nand gates. Provided we have to take care when there are two input and gates, it is fine. When to the OR gate one single input is given, that has to be inverted. These things, if, if we, we keep in our mind, then directly we can arrive at this solution. Rather than designing first the AND OR circuitry and then converting it to NAND NAND circuitry. Directly for the equation, directly we can design this. Okay? Only thing, when there is only one input variable, we have to make sure that it is uh, sent as an inverted form. Now let us look at when we have a multi-level. Now just uh, these two examples were uh, two level NAND uh, and or circuitry we have converted to NAND NAND circuitry. Now, if we have a multi-level circuitry, how to convert that to NAND NAND? So, F equal to <coughs> If this is one example, see if you look at this, this is not in canonical form because all are not main term and here we are doing ANDing here is odd, here is odd, and here is odd. Uh, there is no uniformity. It is neither SOP form nor POS form. So in that case, but directly I can convert it into AND or circuitry. Okay? Uh, with multi-level design. So here I need to AND gate. Here I will be getting A B dash and I need another AND gate where I will be giving A dash 
Vidash. These two must be odd together. Here we will be getting this term. And then I need another OR gate to OR, C and D. And the output of this and output of this must be OR together. So I need another OR gate. this we will be getting a b dash plus a dash b dash. Here we will be getting c plus b dash. The output will be yeah. Now we have 1, 2, 3. 3 level of gates. Now if I have to convert this to NAND NAND circuitry, let us see what all things we, we uh, have to change here. So one thing is this conversion is very simple because here in this line we will be getting two bubbles. Uh, I, I need not change anything else. Two bubbles will cancel automatically with each other. Now, <clears throat> here if I add two bubbles here because finally I want all the gates must be replaced with NAND gate. Okay, So I have to convert this also to NAND gate. To, uh, <clears throat> To uh, cancel this bubble, I have to change its form. If I am passing C, I have to pass C dash. Okay? Because with this bubble, again it will get cancelled and as an output, I will get only C. See, the whole idea behind this is, I want to use only the NAND gate to design my circuitry without altering the output. So that is why, wherever I am making... Uh, appropriate changes to change a particular gate with a NAND gate. Similarly, I also have to make some adjustment so that I am getting the correct output. Okay? One of the adjustment is when I add bubble in any particular line, I need to compensate with another bubble or another NOT gate. So here, if, if I interchange this C to C dash, that is nothing but I'm, I have added another inverter here before this. Here also, if I am changing this D dash to D, that means again there is another inverter present here. Okay, So that will automatically compensate this bubble. So now, so what happens if I convert this to bubble? Okay, So there is no compensation. Okay, There is no compensation to these two bubbles. Okay, So finally, what we have to do to compensate that, we need to add another bubble at the end. So finally, we will be getting F here. Okay. So that is the reason we have taken this example, multi-level, when we have multiple levels uh, while designing na um, and or circuitry, to convert that, what are changes we have to make, what things we have to keep in our mind, this is the best example for that. So what we have done here also, we have converted all the AND gates and OR gates to the <coughs> AND gates. But when we are connecting, uh, connect, uh, converting this R gate to the NAND gate, I have to make sure I am inverting the inputs of it. And then finally, if, uh, if this R gate is converted to NAND gate without any uh, compensatory bubbles, okay, compensatory uh, inverters, we have to invert the output at once using another NOT gate. I hope this is clear to you guys. <clears throat> Most of the circuitries uh, are designed using NAND and NOR logic. So that is the reason this topic is important to understand and learn. Similar to NAND gate, we have another universal gate called NOR gate. What is NOR gate? NOR gate is nothing but OR gate and uh, followed by the complement. Okay, followed by the NOT gate. X plus Y dash. This is the NOR gate. Again, this is also called universal gate because 
it is very easy to fabricate into ICs and it is very uh, easy to convert any given circuitry into not circuitry like what we have seen in the previous example with a NAND gate the same thing can be achieved using the NOR gate <coughs> and also why it is called universal gate is because using this NOR gate we can implement any other basic gates so let us see how the NOT gate is inverted uh, so NOT gate is uh, implemented using NOT gate here again as I have discussed similar to the uh, NAND gate if I short if I short both the inputs of the NOR gate I what I will be getting x plus x the whole dash again according to the boolean laws we know that x plus x is equals to x so now this is working as a NOT gate when I short these two if you are getting single input uh, NOR gate then you can use single input NOR gate then OR how NOR will act as a OR what is the output of NOR addition after that complement so we know that even double complement will uh, cancel the complement so a NOR followed by NOR is nothing but OR so X Y here we will be getting X plus Y bar here we will be getting x plus y double bar which is equal to x plus y. Now this arrangement, this arrangement of the gates will act as a OR gate. Now how this OR gate is implemented uh, AND gate? Okay. How we are going to implement AND gate using NOR? Let us see. using uh, AND and OR gates I need 
two OR gates to add A and B and C and D. Here we have A, B. Here I will be getting A plus B. And I need another OR gate C, D. Here I will be getting C plus D. So I need one AND gate to AND these two. And I also have to AND this. So I need three input AND gate. So one is this input, another one, and then another one is a single input called E. The final output is nothing but yeah. Now let us see how can we convert this using nor nor circuited. Okay, I have to look at one particular line where I can add two bumps. Here I can add, here I can add. And if I add one here, okay, I don't have a OR gate to add uh, to make it nor. So what I can do is I can add a NOT gate here. Or I can directly write here E dash. Either, either of that. Either make it as E dash or just add a NOT gate here. Okay. Again this NOT gate we can use a NOR gate which is working as a NOT gate. So now, how does this work? Okay. So what I will be getting here? Dash. What I will be getting here? Dash. What is here? is E dash. Okay. So how how will this work is now A plus B the whole dash dot C plus D the whole dash then dot E dash to the whole dash. Now if I convert this it is going to be A plus B double dash <coughs> Then C, uh, C plus D, double dash, then E, double dash. Finally, we will be getting A plus B, C plus D into E. So, I hope you understood this. So, <coughs> Now, there is something went wrong. A plus B, we already have dash here, but I am I'm sending the complement of that. So, the double complement and then C plus D, again double complement and then E is also given the double complement. So now if I have to simplify this, C plus D and then we are going to get E, which is nothing but the required equation. Okay. I hope you understood because we don't have bubble here. We don't get the uh, whole complement. Okay. That was something, uh, <coughs> yes. I hope you got this. For any given multi-level logic, for uh, for any given uh, OR and circuitry, okay, it is always better to convert to NOR NOR circuitry. Okay, and when we have a AND OR circuitry, it is easier to convert to NAND NAND circuitry. Okay, so that is the reason uh, we are going to learn both. When we have a OR and circuitry, we are going to convert to NOR, uh, NOR, NOR circuitry. When we have AND OR circuitry, it is better to convert to NAND, NAND circuitry. Uh, 
uh, it is very much similar to what we have uh, uh, done using NAND NAND circuitry. So again I need or, uh, uh, AND gate for these two terms and then I need two OR gates, I need an another AND gate to combine these. So let's start doing it. level design using AND and OR gates. So now, how can I convert this? Okay. How can I convert this to NOR-NOR circuitry? Okay. We are using NOR circuitries, NOR implementation. Okay. So now, <clears throat> because the same uh, thing we have already converted to NAND NAND, now if I have to convert to NOR-NOR, what I have to do? Because all these AND gates, I have to convert to bubbled AND gates. Okay. So here, because Bubbled AND gate is equivalent to NOR gate. When I add two bubbles here, I have to compensate with these inputs. So these, uh, the uh, form of these inputs will change. If it is A, it will become A dash. If it is B dash, it will become B. The same thing I have to apply here now. Because it is a AND gate, I have to convert it to NOR. So the <coughs> uh, form of the inputs will change. It was A dash, it has become A. It was B dash, it has become B. Now, this OR gate must be made it to NOR. Okay? But if I have to look at this line, definitely again this AND will, get, will be converted to NOR. NOR which is again equivalent to the bubbled AND gate. So now we have a compensatory for this, uh, this bubble with this bubble. Now again, if I have to add, because I have to convert this OR gate to a NOR gate. Again, in this line, I have another bubble which is compensating. Because that is, we have added just now. So this is going to be the final <coughs> output. Now, what happens? So here I have A dash dot B. And here, these two inputs are dash together. A dash will become A. B dash, B will become B dash. So finally, I will be having A, B dash. And here, this A is complemented. So I will be getting A, A dash. B will be complemented. B dash. Both are added together. So I will be getting A dash, B dash. So now, similarly, here, C, D dash. So I will be getting C plus D dash, the whole dash. And here we have the same outputs. And here what we are going to get is A, B dash plus A dash, B dash, the whole dash. Because we have added one bubble here. Okay. Now when this bubble compensates, finally what we will get is this. And then and it with complement of this. So finally we will be getting output here. A, B dash plus A dash b dash then it is c plus d dash this is what the desired output so this is how so whenever we are converting from uh, the basic gates to any uh, universal gates either NAND gates or NOR, uh, NOR gates so we have to look into what kind of circuitry it is okay if you are converting to NOR NOR then all the OR we are going to directly convert to NOR and AND we are going to convert it to bubbled AND. And to compensate the bubbles, okay, I have to look at one particular line. If there are two bubbles are added, then they are compensating each other. If there is only one bubble is added, then I have to invert the given input. Okay? 
that means I have to add another inverter before that. So that is the uh, way we have to follow this. When it is the same thing has to be converted to NAND NAND, then AND will be converted to NAND and OR will be converted to bubbled OR. So it's a very simple conversion method. So once uh, if I if you go on, so now onwards, whenever any circuitry is given, uh, we can directly convert all the gates, okay, AND gates to NAND gate, OR gates to uh, NAND gate, okay, then wherever is required, if there is a single input, we have to invert it, and if we have a, in the first level only, we have a opposite uh, gate, then, uh, then also we have to uh, invert the inputs, so with these few special care, easily we can convert any given circuitry into NAND, NAND, NAND circuitry or NOR, NOR circuitry. So that's all for today. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, I hope you understood everything. Thank you.